right away for convenience, I pull out the eyeballs so they're not in the same mesh. I also delete what's unnecessary. This setup makes it remarkably easy to edit both parts independently, ensuring that every element remains impeccably clean and completely free of any visual artifacts. I delete the left side of the mesh before applying the mirror modifier to ensure symmetry. If something in the middle doesn't merge properly during the editing process, you can always fix it much later. To achieve optimal performance and rapid loading within the Roblox platform, our mesh needs optimization to contain 10,000 polygons at most, with aim of using even fewer. We need a high polygon count in the bending areas, where the character's limbs flex throughout animation, and the mesh requires detail for smooth deformation. When the mesh uh, changes its pose, transitions appear jerky if the geometry is coarse. Accordingly, we must add small polygons in those areas to guarantee that all animations remain smooth. But at the same time, in the places where nothing will change, in other words, there won't be any bending. For example, on the skull, some the remote parts of the mesh suffer from weak signal coverage. A high polygon count and dense topology aren't needed, therefore we can render efficiently.